Do you want to open it? So pretty. Nice one. Got this too. Isn't this just the cutest pair of stick scissors you've ever seen? I think I'm going to just put this on my keychain and carry it around with me for emergencies. Snack. It's just a bread. With the ordinary gel pen, when you write and then highlight right away, the gel ink will smear and it'll get the tip of your highlighter kind of dirty. But with the Zebra Mark On Pen, the ink is fast drying, so you can highlight almost right away, and the ink won't smear. This is called the Uni Porous Window, and it's a dual tip pen with a fine tip, and then a highlighter with a window in the middle of it. So you can actually see what you're highlighting. In a normal highlighter, it's blocked so you can't see through where you're highlighting. So with this you can be a lot more precise. I think that the color is a little bit too dark for a highlighter though. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but I think that the concept is really cool. Maybe some of the other colors are not quite as dark. And the fine tip is really convenient when you're studying and making notes because you can just write some notes in the margin without having to switch pens. This is the Kokuyo Beetle Tip Highlighter, which has three different ways to highlight. It looks like a crab claw, I guess you could say. And you can highlight with a fat line, and you can underline with a skinny line, and then you can also do a double line, which I think is really cool. Great for putting boxes around words. Kokuyo makes this other beetle tip highlighter, which I also like. These are the Play Color Dot Markers by Tombow. I've never tried these before, but I thought they would be fun for my kids to use. And on one end they have a dot tip, and the other end is a fine tip pen. So you see a lot of tricolor pens, but they're always just pens. I don't think I've ever seen one that has a lead pencil in it as well. But this is the Zebra Blend pencil slash pen, and it has pencil as well as red pen and black ink. This is a new marker by Kokuyo. It's called the Pasta Marker, and I've seen sets of these which come in like rainbow colors, but I just decided to try out this one. and. I think I'm going to use this as a highlighter, but people use these for drawing. It's a gel based marker that doesn't really smear at all. And when you write with it, it kind of feels like you're writing with a wax highlighter or a wax crayon. Do one. 
Actually, sorry, I'm not sorry. This is a white out type. My mommy has, I think, has two white out types. Another pink one. We have a character like that, but then it's fatter. This is actually not white out tape, it's deco tape, which you use like white out tape, but instead of making a white mark, it leaves this penguin design. And I received a couple of these before in an Inca crate box or another stationary box. I think we have one of these. My mama got them. Yep. But for mom, yeah. This purple pen looks like this one. Well, Kuya always makes really innovative items and I thought this pencil case was cool because it opens up into like a rectangle so when you're using it you can see everything that's inside. So it's a small pencil case, super tight, compact, you can just carry a few items. But oh, I want to put my other pens in, but it doesn't fit. What should I do? I'm just going to expand the bottom. Ta-da! Thank you. 